Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're doing really well today. I wanted to share this thought, you know, um, about God and how he has made it so easy for us to trust and have faith in him by telling us that he alone is the one who is the creator of all beings and all creation. So he takes away all kind of doubts or fear or confusion so that we don't have to go running from door to door to ask for help or guidance or healing because we know it's only just one God. And I mean, it's a choice, right, that people can believe in 10 um, gods and go to 10 different gods and ask them for their guidance. But the source itself will still remain the one. So it's a choice if we believe in God or not, but that does not really affect on God being God, right? And it really hit me hard deep in my soul the other day. I was thinking about this, that how how, how completely beautiful it is of our Allah, a blessing and love um, and his mercy on us that he's helping us to not go door to door, like begging other gods for their attention and their time to satisfy us or to give us what we want. He's not saying go to the money god or to the, you know, the cow god or, um, by the way, I'm not being mean here by taking these names. I'm just saying that the idols that we have created for food, um, like food god or like, uh, you know, money god or like i want a car so go to the car god i mean they're not like these shops that we go to to get different things he's saying i'm the one who is the creator of all creation and i'm the one to provide you protect you give you all that you need so just come to me and it's a choice for us to think that there are ten thousand gods or there's only one god and either way he doesn't need us to believe in him because he is God, right? He's always going to be there without me having faith in him or me having faith in him. It doesn't define God. He will always be for he has always been and he will always continue being with or without my belief in him or not believing in him. And it's so, um, you know, he, he, he knows he knows that we are capable, our brain is capable of questioning, of doubting, of having fears that he's just simply gave us la ilaha illallah, that I am the one you worship, I am the one God that you need, I am the one God, I am God. He doesn't he doesn't have competitors or you you don't have like there's no confusion in who God is, for God is that who he is now you can go through him to ten thousand different doors or you can just go straight to him you can have people thinking you can think of people as you know are closer to god or further away from god but he says i am god to everybody and anybody for all of creation was created by me and so he owns um the whole amazing universe and so What's so beautiful is that he is helping us remove the clutter and remove all other gods so that we can completely focus on him. And la ilaha illallah, there is no God but me. And oh my God, like just can you imagine like if he was to say, okay, go to this one to do that thing, to get that, go to this one. He's like made it so easy, la ilaha illallah, like I am the only one there is. So come straight to me for all that you want, all that you need, for I am the one who will give it to you, for I am the only one who creates everything. Nothing exists without my knowledge. Nothing exists without me doing it. So he's the one who says kun, and then that happens to be, and then that becomes, right? And so you couldn't be existing, you couldn't be hearing if he didn't want you to receive this message. And I couldn't be speaking if he didn't want me to speak this message out into the universe. And for us to both be listening and speaking and connecting through oceans apart through this video, 
um, it's nobody but the one who wants you to hear this and the only one who wants me to speak this so that it could reach you and for me to um, be able to connect to him and his profound essence of being to just to just share that out into the world and it's so it's so powerful when you think of god for all that he is there is nothing that exists without his permission and that what exists always has a purpose and for the purpose to be we have to connect ourselves to the higher being to the to the one that there is right and our soul was created with a purpose that was implanted in our being and that could be that purpose could be anything um that reminds you of god so if you for me it's always been art that has got me closer to allah and that's what i share and teach people how to connect to allah to the creator to your own soul to be able to live an authentic and meaningful life you have to go within your soul to your soul self and connect to that inner being that allah created you as rather than what the world wants you to be when you become that when you have communication with your own true self you automatically reach a place where you um you become so fearless because you know that you couldn't be anything that what he didn't want you to be and for him to choose you to be this person it's his will it's his love it's his guidance for that's why you're here and anything and everything that brings you to a space where you feel safe where you feel grounded whatever it is that you do you know like for me like i said art is something my creativity is the healing medicine that i needed for my uh, soul and so through art i um worship him and that's what my instagram is about my um my instagram is art as ibadat because i believe art is a way that helps me um to heal myself to become my own healer and that's something that i um so passionately believe that through art we can channel into a side of our being that is directly connected to the creator for you see creator creates us as his creativity and we become his creation and so when we keep connecting ourselves back to the one source that he is we automatically are connected to the source of all creativity and so you will constantly be creative you will constantly be in your creative energy you'll always be creating life um when you hold him as your source and so you don't go around looking for any other inspiration but him and through art you can dive deeper into that you know the never ending the limitless soul that you have inside you and keep bringing out beauty keep keep shining your light on other people and um if that's something that you want to do i share my art sessions uh through my patreon the details are down below in the description box you can have a look and through these se- sessions i've broken them in a way where you can do them in one go or you can do it in bits but they help you reprogram yourself and get a clear understanding of who allah is connect to your masculine and your feminine energy learn to do art through the islamic uh, grid the process of is- sacred geometry and be able to bring more balance into your soul um soul energy if that's something like i said it's all on patreon they're all available you can start your journey today and it will help you um live a more meaningful purposeful life where you won't be able to need anybody you yourself will recognize 
the love he has for you and that love that he has for you becomes your strength, your power, your connection becomes so much deeper when you dive into the exercises that I've shared. They have completely shifted my life and I'm so passionate about it and that's why I share them with the world so that others can also benefit from what helped me find my way to myself through God's inspiration and um you can also book me for a one-to-one session if that's something that you'd like to do i also run um friday sessions every 11 a.m every every friday 11 a.m to 1 p.m uk time if that's something that you'd like to attend also but coming to the point we can choose to pray and bend down to many gods or we can choose to bend down to one. It's totally up to us. But that choice does not define who God is. And that's the most beautiful part in understanding that when we know, when he is saying, I am the only one, we don't have to go around looking for God or finding God or searching God. For God is within you and me in all of creation. He is the artist. And when he created you as his sculpture, his painting, whatever it is that you want to call yourself, He left an essence of himself in you. Getting to know that essence within you will connect you to your creator. And it's a beautiful journey to recognize that there is only one path and there is only one being. There is only one God. And he does not need you and me to believe in him. For that is, that's not... (laughs) that doesn't define or hold God. And it's like my brain just goes like, wow, like, wow. And that, that's the amount of love he has for us that he doesn't want us going around looking for, you know, ways to provide for us. He, he's saying, just come straight to me. You have direct line. Pick up the phone, get into your heart, sit with me, and I will guide you to the path towards me. Sirat al-Mustaqim, he will guide you, he will straighten your back. For when you look up to one God, there is only one God, one direction, one path that is going to be going home to him. For to him we belong and inshallah to him we will return. I'm sending you lots of love, light and peace everyone. Enjoy yourselves and have an incredibly amazing day. I hope this message reaches you and helps you ground your energy and be reminded of what a wonderful um, life this is, a gift from Allah, where he's helping us through our days in ways how we can remember him, connect to him, and keep increasing the understanding of his presence in our life, inshallah ta'ala. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Allah Hafiz for now.